Guys, thanks for tuning into our podcast. If you do enjoy this, please make sure you share it with a mate. It's not that much uh, that we're asking. We really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, just keep listening and hope you enjoy the banter that we've been having. You know, she's got to. <laughs> no, I do now. I do now. I have to get you back on when we do get Metamucil as a sponsor eventually. This thing called the reverse scope piss. Basically the same thing. Tuck your dick. Piss. Piss in the trough backwards. Was he blind before the big Les show come out? Lang Park, mate, Queensland. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, welcome back to On the Piss. Your oh no, I fucked it. Okay, no, I'm alive. we're live. Can one of you two do the intro? Because yeah, usually can. Josh does it. What's up, fuck boys? Welcome back. We're back. <laughs> Not allowed to swear in the first five minutes. I yeah. <laughs> Off, <laughs> <laughs> off to a flyer. 2021. Tees late. My microphone's not working. <laughs> We're on. Uh, so Seb's filling in for the beginning of this podcast until Klutzy gets here. He's coming back from Noosa. Busy day for the big man. Flat out, mate. Flat Fla- out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and of course, special guest Sam Speakman, all the way from Wagga. Welcome, Thanks, mate. mate. Hey, How are you? Thanks for having me. It's How, good to be back. How'd your Christmas, boys? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> you know, Santa didn't get me anything I wanted, which I was pretty pissed off about. What, what did you want? Girlfriend. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> someone to hold tight. Night. Yeah. Um, three inches on my vertical. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't get any of those. How big is your vertical? How high is your vertical? It is. Oh, like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's weird you ask that. Yeah, so thanks yeah. for bringing it up. It's 38 inches. Yeah. But like to make NBA, you got to be a, a, like 40 plus. Yeah. yeah. Getting there. Getting there for sure. I guess. Um, what did you get for Christmas, Speaks? A heart rate monitor. Nice. What are you clocking? What? What's what's resting? What are you are sitting you guys at right now? Like overnight sleep patterns? What are we talking about? No, I'm talking about what, what are you resting right now? Right now? It's fucking hot up here, so. 54. No. F- Jesus Christ. Is that good? That's so low. Really? Hey, is it legitimately 54? No, it's 98. I was going to say, <laughs> dude, I'm pretty sure you'd be like dead. I'm pretty sure no. like, pr- like Ronaldo's. No, when I sleep, it's like 40. Mm, not sure if that's good or bad. I'll get the app up. Um, I'm not though. doubting it. Sounds like you are. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure Ronaldo has like one of the lowest resting heart rates and his is like 70. So if you had 50. I mean, no, nah, it's definitely not right. Okay. I know that you played first soccer, but yeah. And so you have like a bit of a like yeah, feel or a bit of an in, but yeah. you're wrong. Fair, Fair enough. enough. What's yours? I wouldn't have a fucking clue. Didn't get a heart rate monitor for Christmas. Oh. Really? What yeah. did you get? Jet ski? Uh, no. I wish. Um, two. sorry. Two jet skis. No, actually, on that joke, our <laughs> friend Mitch Jones, who's been on the podcast before, has two jet skis. Guess what Jonesy got for Christmas? It was to a be third fair, jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this is a joint present between him and his sister, but guess what he legit got? A boat. No. A house? No. A jet ski trailer. Steve Jones Hardware. No. So, Steve, his dad was guessing. like, uh, <laughs> you won't be able to travel internationally anywhere for a little while, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity for you guys to see Australia. So, he bought them like a 13-foot caravan. Oh, That's man. sick. That's <laughs> so good. sick. It's got two kitchens, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's t- here One he is. Welcome. Oh, here he is. All right. Good mate. How are you? It was sweet while it lasted. Here we yeah. are. Here's the main event. Um, we've it's only got three. Oh, that could be. We've only got three mics. So, and this one's yeah. completely fucked. Oh, that's right. Joshua, take it's this. Show as usual. Yeah. Yeah. I think Seb's gonna sub out and just sit here. I know you've had a flat out day, mate. Um, yeah. Dude, you're a lot better than me. I wouldn't say that, mate. Come. We're welcoming in the great man. He's back. Is back in the saddle. Put in like the. Like a little bit of do 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 Yeah, the, the <laughs> waiting <laughs> music again, Clutch. Hello, viewers. Jesus. How are we? Good, mate. Sorry, I've just got back from the coast. Yeah. How's your day? Oh, I've had a spectacular day. Um, it's been awesome. Oh, I'm apologies for getting back a bit late. There's a bit okay. of traffic. Um, great, though. You got a booger in your moustache. Do I? It's Can you pick beer. it for me? It's probably beer. Actually, no, it's not. It's definitely dandruff. I've got really sensitive skin. <laughs> dandruff in your fucking moustache. Yeah, well, I've actually got... Re- I've dead tech got real sensitive skin. Sensitive um, man. Sensitive, yeah. Sensitive man, sensitive skin. Sensitive yeah, exactly. Heart. Sensitive heart, sensitive skin. Se- just sensitive everything. Wanted, wanted to give a quick shout out as well to uh, Jay Ball Staunton and uh, the Pillar to Post podcast because we've lost a mic. This one doesn't work and the other camera's also not up here, so... Thanks, boys. Off to a flyer for 2021. 
Yeah, well, at least we, uh, we're we That's one of those nice off where presents. we started. Yeah, can it's only go up from here. Nice presents that only, you know, mates can give. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. it. <clears throat> Fuck, how long have we been going for? Uh, four, four minutes and 34 seconds. Yeah. Oh, hectic. Didn't miss much. Yeah, um, no worries. Speak's <laughs> got a heart rate monitor for Christmas. Oh, nice. And what, What's the highest you got it to so far? Oh, actually, New Great Year's question. Eve in Barker's, Barker's downstairs. Um, yeah, in, in the, the dungeon. gym. In the, in the dungeon, as some people yeah. like to bring it up. His dad, Andre the Giant, had a um, <laughs> <laughs> has a blood pressure monitor, and oh, hang on, I'll get the photo because I sent it to my mum. Blood pressure monitor, like wow. you know those straps that you put around your arm and you yeah. hit it. Hang on, I'll find it. Fuck, oh, that's insane. And my heart rate was fucking. Oh, here it is. My heart rate was at one forty two at that point, but my blood pressure was one seventy one over one fourteen. Jesus, it's not healthy. No, not at all. But that was around one a.m. So yeah, okay, that's fair. A lot, lot of things pumping. How was your New Year's? Uh, uh, pretty Great. good. Have you discussed your innings in the backyard yet? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for bringing <laughs> it up. No, because I've got a great... Oh, I can't wait for you to explain because... Uh, so basically, I got yeah. there around 3 This is New Year's Eve, right? New Year's Eve, yeah. 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 And Barker got out the roller. You know the things that you yeah, yeah. put water in and then you roll the grass. So yeah. it was a good pitch. Like a bit green, but good pitch. And I was just like, well, I'll bat first, obviously, because you know, I like to take shine off nut. Yeah. <laughs> Standard. And I was yeah, like, bro. I'll make it a little bit easier for the rest of the boys. I'll, you know, I'll what do are you looking at, Josh? I'm just trying to figure out how there's four things plugged in. There's four chords, but only three mics. No, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Sorry, all right, continue. So anything, you know, it's, so yeah, I get a five, right? I take shine off nut, sweet, cool, whatever. Next thing you know, it's 7.30. I'm still in. <laughs> and no dot balls as well, might I add. So I'm on about 2.34, probably. That's off. Oh, and obviously I was counting in my head, but I think it's roughly uh, 2.50. Yeah. C- could be close to the 3.10 Matthew Hayden mark. But anyway, Josh Clutterbuck, I see him driving in. And I go, bring the heat, you big puss boy. And Actually, goes, your words were, these blokes have been bowling shit all afternoon. Someone can't even hit line and length. Can you just come in here and actually bowl a decent ball for once? Classy is as the- I was walking across <laughs> the road, I said to Herdy, I was like, watch this, I'll get him out first ball. Yeah, Walk up there. A tennis ball go flying directly back over your head. No, I actually bowled you first ball. No, when you were walking <laughs> in, <laughs> oh, either, so. Matt Davies was bowling really bad, oh, yeah, line, no, he really was bowling. bad length, and I was just going, Boonk. and I'd say we went through about 13 or 14 tennis balls until Josh came yep. and ruined my innings. Yeah, and got him out first ball and didn't bowl after that. Thank you very much. I was hung up the boots. One for none off one ball. Yeah, but four hours on a backyard pitch is like day five of a test. So there was a bit of deviation. Mm. I would have thought it would be like the old days where they just didn't have a day five. They just kept going. So who it was like you, a deteriorated um, day eight. Who do you reckon has more autism speaks at New Year's Eve or Marnus Labashan? Oh, it has to be Marnus. Have you heard him? All? Oh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. I was batting my dick off. You guys admit. <laughs> yeah. No, that is a tough one. Um, I don't know. I wasn't screaming no run. I, I'd probably not go, now. I'd probably still go with Marnus. Yeah. He, he's it's a pretty special one. Like not by a lot. Mm. No way. But you're a pretty handy cricketer. Um, Thanks. Let a couple of your mates know the other night. Not at your request at all, just out of the out of, just the, blue, out yeah. of the blue. Um, but I was I felt really good. Uh, one of the boys I messaged thought that you actually wrote the message I sent. Um, and for someone to think that I was you, oh, honestly, so you sent a message. You sent a message to I one sent, of Sam's I friends. sent this message. Josh Neal, one of my good mates, um, made 150 in first grade. He didn't did he? make 150 against Ipswich. Still not as good as your backyard me, innings. He sent it to me in confidence, thinking I wouldn't share it, so I instantly put it on my Instagram story. <laughs> And those messages were flooding Got in him. thinking that it was mine, 150, and I was obviously saying, of course, yes, it is. <laughs> they go, we didn't even know you played cricket. And I said, well, that's how good I am. As I only <laughs> played two games, and yeah, I'm hitting 150 games. So I messaged Joshy um, for Speaks. you got to back your boys up. Well, not up. for Speaks. Not for Speaks, but just out of the pureness of my own About heart. Speaks. About Speaks, sorry. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, so look, mate, you need to listen to me, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Both question marks at the end of those yes. <laughs> All right. So here it is straight. Speaks reckons he bowls 120s, but he's just being a gentleman. He actually bowls 130s. Get it? Question mark. Yeah, thought so. Full stop. And but just a disclaimer, all... like, yeah, my effort ball is 135, but <laughs> I'm just, you know, like, my average is about 120. Like, yeah. I don't, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but that's not all. You ready for this? He sees them like beach balls, okay? You feel that? Beach balls. No way you're getting caught. Uh, no way you're catching him out. Bold. No, yeah, sorry. No way are you getting him out bold. Only caught by the crown. Now, don't question it. Don't do anything about it. Just accept it. Goodbye. 
and that's space yeah. is a cricket arm. And he actually retired from first grade after he got that message. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I'll just play second. Yeah. <laughs> because you can't you, you can't beat greatness. Isn't that right? What team are you in at school, Speaks? I actually didn't play cricket. <laughs> 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 oh, I love that. But I've, I've decided in a friend of the show, me and Connor Trudgeon are going to go and play Wollongong cricket. Good. Nice. And we both have a really good feeling we're going to be batting five and six yeah. in yeah. first grade. In That's first um, grade? Yeah. Giving back to the community. Slot yeah. straight in. We both just said, let's go spend three grand at Keith Dudgeon <laughs> oh. and go to the Nets. I was actually talking to Rory about starting a last man standing team and he's like, imagine going bat shopping. And I was like, that, I'd play oh. one game just to go buy a new bat. That'd be sick. Knock it <laughs> in for like eight hours and then just probably get out second ball. Yeah. I actually got my 16th birthday, reminded me of my 15th. Because um, I used to be a batsman before I became a bowler. But I was a batsman <laughs> in the seas. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> A good choice anyway, dad dad bought me this lovely new, uh, I think it was a power bow in oh, wow. under 16s. What were the graphics Great like? Great bat. Huh? What were the graphics like? I honestly can't really tell you because I never really got to use it. Um, because <laughs> in, in, in uh, year 11, I got put into the thirds and I think I was batting 10 most games. And as a I don't know why as a batsman. Spe- specialist fielder. Yeah, I think roll. my problem was if my eye wasn't there, it wasn't there. Uh, but once that eye was in, like, good luck. Have fun on the boundary. A bit like Ben Cutting. Yeah. Li- yeah. You're actually the embodiment of Ben Cutting, aren't Thank you? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Except I can bowl. <laughs> I can bowl now. Um, now. Did you miss as a good commentator? Yeah. Spectacular. Play on. Yep. Nah, she's not. Nah. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Just um, not the experience yet. Yeah, no, not at all. Not at all. Lift. Not a seasoned veteran. She needs it's to take a while. Yeah, literally, get some ticker. Anyway, um, Off topic. Yeah, so I've never. I, I, I think I've used the bat that I got for my 16th birthday. It was amazing bat. I think I might have used it in a game, maybe four times. <laughs> and that's depressing for me. Yeah, it's a great bat. Well, yeah, I had a good bat at home somewhere. I don't know where it is though. <laughs> four games average. Uh, I don't know. I actually. Three. I've spoken about it before, but that bat was the one that hit the ball in the air where I called too loudly and got given out for unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> yeah, that was bats. funny as fuck. <laughs> that was fucking well, hilarious. Well, to be fair, the... Called a run. Yeah, I called yeah, a run too loud because the batsman at the other end who I was with, um, he's like partially deaf in one ear. So I just oh, screamed Oh, fuck out. off, Josh. You were trying to put the bowler off for sure. You were like it halfway... It wasn't the bowler, it was mid-off. Well, right? whoever was trying to catch it, you were halfway down the pitch and this bloke's like under a fucking high as Mate, top edge. I was edge. actually turning to go for the second <laughs> run. I called yes very loudly. <laughs> it's hard, it's it. halfway <laughs> down the pitch and Clancy goes, yes! And the bloke dropped the ball and <laughs> the umpire gave him out. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a G up. <laughs> probably should have been out. Yeah. yeah. First or second grade cricket, you should have been getting put off by a loud yes call. Yeah. Do you, Ver- do you reckon Verat would drop one at second slip if Manus was going, no, yes! <laughs> well, I don't know. Definitely not. No. God, no. <laughs> Could get into that contentious subject. Actually, someone wanted, us, cricketers, but we won't. someone wanted us to bring up um, on the Instagram story, someone responded uh, asking us to touch on the uh, Australian captain of the cricket team. Um, do you have any thoughts off the back of the test? I still back him. I, know I was going to say, I know, I know our friend Jackson doesn't back him, but like, what's he done wrong besides that one test? And to be fair, they weren't, he's, they he's weren't easy catches. No. Like, they're all tough catches. Yeah, but I just think that you can't not do anything and then throw chat and then oh, drop yeah, the catch. Oh, yeah, no, the, the chat throwing was a bit, there you go. The chat yeah, was, was shit shattered. He was focusing more on that, I think. Yeah. But also so. the end of day five where they're going, we've literally bottled this. The one yeah. of the greatest bed shits in mm. Australian cricket for a long time. And he's got, I just got to do something. And that's fine. Yeah, and well, and maybe fair, maybe Ash- fucking hold catches. Yeah, but then Ash- Ashwin <laughs> gave it back pretty good, eh? Down at your yeah. barrel. It's Ricky Ponting 05. Yeah. Great quote. Yeah, I don't know I, how I, I feel I actually didn't know how to catch in that game either. <laughs> <laughs> so I just scored oh, 600 yeah. runs in innings with Jason Gillespie. Yeah, and never got out. Yeah, fucking hell. Sounds like out. we have another special guest entering the oh. podcast studio. Coming live Thank to you from the Caxton, as always. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Little Benny New Balance. How are you, mate? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> always balanced. He always balanced. Um, oh, you might have heard that through the mic, that connection. Love that. Probably. That was really good. Um, going back, though, to New Year's. Yeah. Uh, um, big night. I was hung over on New Year's Day. Fuck yeah. In a big way. I, I think 2021 is going to be the year of Josh having hangovers. Yeah, it's finally, finally oh, come. No, it, was, it was bad because I set myself a task the day before that I had to finish. Um, Liter of vodka. Oh, it's just a bottle. That's brave. Oh, so that's just a bottle. Yeah, very courageous. No, it was bigger than two fifty. 
seven. It was two fifty mil difference. Seven fifty. Oh, sorry. I thought you were saying it was a two fifty mil bottle. Um. Yeah. So, um, I did it. Which is one drink for Glock. Yeah. Yeah. Two, yeah. I did it. We do encourage uh, responsible drinking here. Sometimes, sorry. if you want to, but, um, but yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's New Year's. Fuck it. Let yourself go loose a bit. Only because um, we have to. Yeah. So that was great. Um. Did that. I was in all sorts the next day. I didn't get out of bed until four thirty. Holy fuck! And then I went to work, but um, oh, I, I was feeling so shit. Like I was like hugging the toilet, throwing up in the morning. Uh, really? And, that's oh, a hard hangover. Yeah, no, it was very bad. And there was nothing to... coming up because there's nothing in the gut, and I think that's the thing that got me. Yeah. But um, I was gonna bring that up because yeah. since I've got home from to Brizzy, I don't get hungover anymore. Uh, really? It must be that Queensland spirit. My yeah. auntie reckons it's genetics because she. Her and like my uh, my uncle will drink mm. like two bottles of red, a couple of six packs every night, and wake up and then go to F forty five at like five oh, forty five. What? That's impressive. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, like I just woke up one morning, I was like the weirdest thing. Like now I just I don't get hungover. She goes, yeah, yeah mate, you come from good stock. <laughs> and I was like, is that good stock or is it alcoholics? I reckon no, I had stock. one of the best hang. I was a little bit hung, not that bad. Like I wasn't sick on New Year's Day, mm. and I got up at about ten, had something to eat, and went down to the beach, and laid in the sun for a bit and I got a little bit sunburned you know like not sunburned enough where you're going to peel but you're just like a bit hot and bothered yeah 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 went back up to the apartment aircon cranking cricket on zooper dupers in the freezer and oh, just sat there nice. from like 2pm till sleep time so yeah it was great fuck yeah that's awesome yeah what else happened I don't even know what I did I, honestly I was thinking I was like oh the last podcast there's going to be so much I did in between I don't remember anything I did. We did the um, big, week that was, big boys like, lunch. Oh was, yeah. This at the, is at the your, uh, here's a bender. I know you're talking about your Melbourne Cup. Yeah, yeah. Please. Here's continue. a bender. I got so me and friend of the show Tim Good. Yeah. We I was meant to be leaving working Nara on the Friday afternoon. Mm. So and then that's when the COVID restrictions just hit. So on the Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday night. So then yeah. me and Tim Good are on the on the blower to each other going, should we just gun it? Should we just ju- gun it? Should we just gun it? I'm like, sweet. So I leave Nara, which is about an hour and a half, two hours south of Sydney, mm. at three o'clock, get to Sydney at 5 p.m., peak hour traffic, go pick up Jug. We l- sit in traffic in Sydney for about two hours, get to new- get onto the highway, sit on- in traffic to Newcastle for about another two hours. Oh. This is all, uh, it's like 9 p.m., 8 p.m. Gun it all the way through, takes us 12 hours, get home, back to Brizzy at like 5 a.m., wake up, go to the boys' lunch. Roll through that, which was a that was, that was a big, big, big effort. I think it's the yeah. drunkest I've ever been in my entire life. Oh, oh yeah, exactly yeah. right. Oh yeah, I can talk about that weekend after that. Yeah, fuck yeah. So that was the twentieth. Have literally zero recollection of the twenty first to the twenty third. Twenty fourth, have another big night at Ashfiana's place just before his birthday. Roll into Christmas. My family think piss like it's going out of fashion. Like they <laughs> love the shit. Me and my uncle went to Dan Murphy's the day before, or oh, 23rd. Yeah. And we spent 900 bucks on piss for four days or three days. And then roll into Boxing Day where we have another big family event. Roll into our mate Jackson, Bucks- J- Jackson Buckby's <laughs> birthday. Great so day. At this stage, Great I'm, day. At this stage, I'm about, oh, which I have another story about. But at this stage, I'm, I'm about eight days old. Can't see, like, can't speak, can't stand up very well like my sentences were coming out and people i thought that was super clear and people going what well i didn't understand a single word slept for like literally until new year's got on it picked up again went the big lift again for sam barker yeah. 250 in, in the backyard the, got home at like 5 a.m right. didn't sleep that whole day <laughs> Slept in my cousin's room, who's like nine. I had to kick him out. I was like, because he's the only room that's got air con. I was like, actually get buddy. I've got to watch documentaries on Netflix for the next two days until I recover. <laughs> but at Jackson's on the 27th, yeah, he, as some of you may know, had a, um, like a aggregate shield. Yeah. So yeah. basically he printed out cards. He did a really good job and I don't think he got enough respect for no, it. Yeah. I think it was out. awesome. He printed Amazing. out all these cards with like these point amounts, etc. Et yeah, so there's tasks like um, skull a drink was like 10 yeah. points and then it was like um, if you vomit, it was like minus 20 yeah. points. But if you skull a drink, it was plus 30. 30. So yeah, yeah, and there's heaps of and different so ones. I went into this day thinking there was no one that can beat me. Like I was like, I'm, there is not a chance in the world that anyone has the aptitude when drunk and also the ticker to get through that much piss. And I was like, this is mine for the taking. Yeah. And this is at like maybe 2 p.m. 
And I'm like, all right, sweet. So I'd gone to the toilet, done something unspeakable. Yeah, which was on, on the list. Yeah, came back out, showed the video, got the 15 points. So I'm like, okay, I should be ahead. Walk up to Jackson. I was like, oh, I'm on like 45 points or whatever. And he goes, oh, yeah, I think you're up there. I think you could be first or second. I'm like, okay, sweet. Walk up to class. I was like, how many points are you on? He's like, oh, 116. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, all right, cool. There's a big <laughs> I was like, there's a big point margin here. It's drinking, uh, taking a shot out of Klutzy's be- belly button. And he goes, are you sure you want to do it? And I was like, just get the, I was like, I don't want to think about it. Just get the belly button. Out. I had the shot in my hand. Oh, and he goes, are you sure? Actually. Puts his finger in his belly button, rubs it around, pulls it back out, puts it under my nose. <laughs> and I swear to God. I had to sprint to the toilet to vomit because it's the stinkiest, most fucked thing I've ever I swear sorry, to God. Sorry. It's worse than a dead body. Like, I was smelling this thing and I was instantly just like, you know when you vomit and you can feel it coming off the back of your throat? I was just like, and I had to hold it into the mouth and run through the um, Hamilton Bowls Club, get to the toilet. Just to, I didn't make it into the toilet, just got to a sink and just went. So Jackson told me the week before at the boys' lunch, he was like, hey, look. I need to get your permission to do something for my birthday. And I was like, okay, what? And he's like, oh, people need to do a shot out of your stomach. And I was like, oh, that's right. We're doing the shield. And literally, like, my mindset a week out from him was like, I'm fucking winning. And yeah. There's no way I'm not winning. And so, as soon as I knew that was a thing, I was like, there is a lot of power Yeah, in my gut. It was a high points, uh, like, task as well, it was wasn't 15, it? 15, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd fifteen compared to what was like scaling a drink. Scaling a drink well, was like five. Ring was also fifteen. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That gives you some sort of idea. Love it. Um, like scaling a drink after chandering was worth thirty. 30. Yeah. yeah. So. so, but only a plus ten game. Really. Yeah, so really. really um, yeah. So yeah, uh, basically what I did was I knew that that was a thing. So I didn't clean my gut for like a day or two oh, and just yuck. built up some shit because I was like. You know, it's every man for himself. And I want to be the inaugural winner of Buck's birthday. Yeah, there's only ever one first yeah, winner, isn't there? Or oh, seventy points ahead at yeah. like three p.m. You and probably the, like, just have a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Yeah, I man. Go to the bathroom. Well, I did get a lot of vodka lime soda in my gut after that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got the bad bits out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for no reward. See, that but, was the only shit thing for me because I was only down for the day, and I wasn't driving. I was heading back up the coast so I could have a few beers. But I looked at the list. And I saw, like, you boys. I was like, I'm not even going to try and play this because there's no point, like, <laughs> doing a few of them and getting 30 points and then asking Klutz and he's on fucking 6,000, so... Yeah. Did no, th- um, I think Sorry, I got 100 and... <laughs> it's like 150 or 160 points or something. Fucking hell. The thing is, is that, like, I looked at it and I was like, I need to come out of the... Well, I need to intimidate the um the competition. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. On. Do you want any? No, i got to play footy in, oh. like... So 50 minutes. And by footy, you mean TRL. Yeah, TRL. And by TRL, you mean Div 4. Uh, Div 2, thank you. Mixed. It's Fuck Div 4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, True. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, I need to come out of the blocks hard just to, you know, assert dominance. Yeah. So I did. Um, yeah. So I did, I did like Fucking all the... Fucking you did. All the fuck tasks first, like... Yeah, did a bubbler. Wait, it was actually That's funny. Sick. We ordered lunch inside and we are like sitting there just watching our group, just being like... <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, it was... Because um, it's like... I know it's a bowls club, but it was kind of nice-ish there, isn't it? Yeah, like, no. Yeah. It's, it's actually like... The poker shout room out to the Gallopers. The, yeah, the Gallopers, sponsor of this yeah. week's podcast. No, shout out to Jazz Day, who, when we walked in, I was like, there is no way this guy's going to remember me. I'm sure he listens. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, there is no way this guy's going to remember me. Went up and said hello and brought me free drinks for the rest of the night. What? Who yeah. was it? He, Jazz Day. He, he was like two years below boy. me at school. Oh, uh, okay. He's a football player. Does he have two Because you went up to him and said, hey, congratulations, you kept my best mate out of the first when you were in year 10 and he was in year 12. <laughs> Correct, yeah. So. Does, does he have two ears? Oh, uh, yeah, two, yeah. Listen, he'd be a listener then. Yeah. yeah For sure, to. yeah. Cool. Is he retarded? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, on the topic of sponsor of this week's podcast, Josh. Oh, yes. We have a sponsor exciting. of the podcast. We genuinely have like an actual... Yeah. This yeah. is a fucking sick sponsorship as well. Huge shout out to the Malt Shovel Garage. Mm. Um reached out sponsor of this week's podcast quick question do either of you boys like discounts on piss no. yes God, no, I want to pay full price yeah yeah well if well then you're a fucking idiot yeah exactly you're and an idiot I just want to give back to the little guy you know if you're Four not hours. like if you're not like Speaks and you want to maybe get a cheeky discount on alcohol yeah there's going to be a link somewhere probably in the description of this episode 
yeah. head there. Ten percent off your first order. I might chop this video up and chuck it in. I don't know. It could be right here. Um, I'm just trying to pull up the list of Might not be. beers be. that they have available. Off the top of my head, uh, Sookie Mon Mon by Panhead. They got Panhead. They got Brooklyn. They Brooklyn Bel Air. Amundi. Yamundi. Yamundi. Yeah. Here we go. I've got it here. They have. Uh, let me just go back to here. Uh, Brooklyn, like six pack of Brooklyn Bel Air Sour, twenty bucks. Yeah, that's cheap. And that's before your discount. That's so cheap. eighteen bucks. That is cheap. That's yeah. unbelievable. That's cheap. All your Brooklyn beers, all your, your Monday beers. And it's so, six beers as so well. So you're saying it's a 10% discount? 10% discount. 10% and discount. discount. And you know what gets better than that? No, what? If you really want to support this podcast... Which I do. Would you consider yourself a good bloke? Oh, no, <laughs> but go on. <laughs> would you Would you consider shouting me a beer? Oh, of course I me would. Me and Klutzy a beer. I've would you buy us a beer? Times. You want to buy us a beer? I've done it. Use the link. I'll do it again. Because we get, we get beer coupons when you guys buy a beer. Yeah. So not only do you save money, but you buy us a beer. You know how homeless people get food coupons? That's what we get. Well, the Centrelink, Hamish, and Andy, they get beer coupons. Exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, pretty much. So we got... Yeah, just put your, put your head down. Do all, the right thing. All the Brooklyn beers, all the Yamundi beers, James Squire. Um, what else is on here? Mount Kosciuszko. Great but, pale yeah, ale. Great pale say, ale. If you um, definitely... Oh, there's our um, merch as well. I'm pretty sure yeah, we there is through it as well. There's, like, the Sookie... I, I wish that I was an XL, not a double XL. Yep. Um, <laughs> because there's not double XL shirts, unfortunately, for this bigger. Uh, little and creatures. But, oh, mate. Panhead. Like, is it just beers? Uh, no, there's ciders on there as well, I think. And potentially some seltzers. Yeah. Oh, get I'm not too sure. I like seltzers. I have to have a better look. But yeah, anyway, the link will be in the description somewhere. If you haven't already, guys, like... Definitely use this opportunity to get some Panhead and some yeah. Brooklyn beers. Yeah. Panhead have been putting out some amazing ones. Like their Pep Talk. Um, watermelon Sour. Watermelon Sour was amazing. Sucky Mon Mon. Yeah. They should have like some White Rabbit on there as well. I'm yeah. Pretty sure. White Rabbit Golden Sour, which we had on tap at work and all the girls kept saying by accident, Yum. Golden Shower. <laughs> <laughs> on accident? Maybe it wasn't an accident. I don't know. Things get weird. Um, yeah, like... They're just really good beers. So Pan had some real good beers. Brooklyn's good beers. So yeah, we'll chuck up the the link. But um, and yeah. let's not forget they delivered directly to your door. Yeah. You know what I hate? Going to Dan Murphy's on New Year's Eve. Oh. Yeah, fucking hell. It's the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Jimmy Brings. There's nothing too expensive. worse. And Jimmy Brings. Dogs. No, no selection. Why don't you tell the story about the time so you paid eighty bucks for a fucked. belly big heads? That was fucked. I remember that. If that my mice were world, and they were warm. Yeah, that, that was horrible. The big day. So obviously, go straight to. Straight to what? The link. Oh, the the link. link. Yeah, go to the link. Otherwise, and then you're not gonna have to contend with this Jimmy Brings bullshit. No. Yeah, fucking right. It's conspiracy. And hey, Jimmy, grow up, buddy, because you just you you phasing out. Guys, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, ten percent off, guys. Um, Tars is trying to do stuff with Hello. the mic. Hello. Hey. Ten percent off. And and you're shouting us beers. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a, it's almost a negative because it's a double positive. Yeah, yeah, that's that's science. Although that's math. Double yeah. positive doesn't <laughs> equal negative. Yeah, I don't know. it doesn't. Double it's a positive. Negative equals a positive. positive. Yeah, but yeah. this is a double positive and it's still positive. Yeah. Okay, rolling off the back of that. <laughs> shout out to our sponsor, Malt Travel Garage. Yeah, thank um, you very much. So that's a new thing that NASA's looking into. Is it can a double positive equal a negative? Positive? Yeah, they tell no, you. No, it you does equal a positive. They tell you the two positive sides can't work together in batteries, but they can. Try yeah. it. Put them both try, it. try it. Try it, and then I'll try it with my beer voucher, and we'll let you know how we go. Yeah, thank you. Um, another thing, uh, question that got sent in through the Instagram story. We actually had a lot. Well, which like, is rare. Probably, <laughs> I wouldn't. Sorry. Less than ten. Less than ten. Yeah. More than five. Um, five and a half. Someone wanted to know. I'd, I'm keen to hear you, your the the opinion of both of you guys. Shitting in the pub when you're oh, out on the piss, this. yes or no? Fuck yeah. Oh, I don't need to shit when I'm on the piss. But yeah. if you did, would what you shit in the pub? Nature calls. Hell it's yeah, like bro. Why am I going to be holding that in? Because pub torts can be pretty fun. Well, gross. Here's a story. well you're blind. True, so, true, yeah. true, And you know, true, there's true. a thing called soap. Um, <laughs> so if there's piss yeah, on, you on your belly use button. it on your belly button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there's a thing called soap. Yeah, have you yeah. seen it before, Cunt? Oh my God. Why do you think yeah, I'm sitting so far away? Because <laughs> you can smell it. Yeah. Uh, um, if you notice, Speak's dry reaching. It's just, shirt. yeah, coming. It's all coming back to him. Um, but no, like if there's a bit of piss on the seat, just get a bit of toilet paper. I think piss on the seat's the least of your worries, though. Correct. But if there's piss on the... Oh, so I've been trying to per, like perfect this technique as well. Um, 
I don't know what to do in this situation where I don't want to get my pants with piss on it. But I don't know. Like you know, like when you you know when you go to take a shit and there's heaps of piss on the toilet, yeah. like oh, on yeah. the floor. Yeah. I've been trying to think of like you hold them around your knees. Yeah. Yeah, but Pain like, in the ass to wipe them, but, but the, the problem yeah. is, is yeah. that I've got big, big fucking fat boy thighs. <laughs> you so, say nuts? <laughs> no, that too. But <laughs> cheese wagon. It's, it's just a <laughs> real uncomfortable experience for me. So I don't know. Maybe go like the downhill skier and just like yeah. Squat. Oh, and it'll be a lot funner when you're drunk as well. But well, yeah, no, know, I'm all about shitting. I don't know if you guys remember the um, TBC toilets, but they didn't oh, have locks on the doors. Yes. Nah. Yeah. yeah, and it was one of the fl- um. Feed the chook. Feed the chook events. Mm. And I was like, I'd had like 12 tacos before I came. And I was like, <laughs> i got to get this out. Yeah. And I was shitting like this. And for just, you n- just your audible listeners, I had one foot up like this with the toilet like oh, pushing on down. the door. And I was trying to like, as, as a second line of defense, I had my hand up. Yeah. So I was like pushing like this. And then you get a security guard knocking on the door thinking you're doing rack. I'm like, mate, I've got diarrhea. Please just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you put two hands up. And he's like jumping... You know how security guards do that? In yeah, clubs, they yeah, look over they, the top. Where they like grab the top of the toilet and they jump and yeah. they look. <laughs> and then he looks down, it's just me doing a shit. And he goes, oh, mate, what are you in a club for? Because <laughs> I had 12 tacos. Toy, yeah. <laughs> Why'd you put them in here if you don't want anyone to shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I See, I probably would have avoided it unless I absolutely had to. Yeah. But the person who sent this question in, shout out Matten, mm. made a good point. He said he felt the same way, but then he recently had an experience where he was doing a shit in the cubicle and two blokes were pissing in the urinal and he overheard a racing tip and the race got up in like the next jump and he won like 50 bucks. Really? So yeah, see? the things you hear. The things you hear. Plus they also have like negative one ply toilet paper. As oh, well. the so worst. So expect for like 12 Mate, to 15 especially at TBC if, if they even have a toilet paper. Actually, when I was at Berlin, I was at this club in Berlin, Berlin. and I had to shit so bad. Must so bad. Nice. And I'm walking around. <laughs> no, what did you say? Must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> And I finally find this toilet. I'm like, oh my God, sh- shit my pants. Walk in and there's girls everywhere. I was like, oh fuck. I walked into the girls' bathroom and one of the <laughs> girls laughed and she's like, there's no girls' bathroom. Like, it's just the bathroom. And I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> walked into the cubicle. There's no door on the cubicle. So you're just sitting there like <laughs> everyone else and there's no toilet paper. And I walked in. I was like, nah. I just, I prefer to shit my pants. Yeah. That's so cool. So did you? Nah, didn't. Lots of farts. Yeah, that's farts. Yeah. <laughs> D4 farts. D4 farts. Fluffers. That is pretty cooked. I don't, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, the mic. Oh, that's all right. We'll be, we'll be back in a big way with another mic next week, hopefully. Maybe the Pack Boys still have it from Pack Fest. Oh, well, not Pack Fest. That is Vegas thing. Yeah. Who knows? Wait, oh, actually, can I buy merch but not play? Yeah, fuck if we if get we it get organized. It, if we get it organized, yeah. yeah. We actually, yeah. Um, Is it in Brisbane? No, nah, it's Caleandra. a Caleandra. So oh, I definitely can't make that. Yeah, I think we were talking about it on the last podcast how we were going to possibly enter a team. Oh yeah, we did because we asked if people were keen. And um, for sponsors. Unfortunately, Darcy and I sort of switched off because. That's not like you, mate. No. <laughs> Like you at all. <laughs> See, usually I switch off all the time, but it was the first time that Das has also just like yeah, taken a break. I didn't do anything life. for two weeks. It was great. It was great though. It was awesome. But then we sort of forgot that in order to play footy, you need jerseys, jerseys and shit. Yeah. So we forgot yeah. to organise all that. Um, and We're trying Campbell Collective shirts. Yeah, we could do that. Maybe he'll sponsor us. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Please. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. We're organising it at the moment. We might be playing in pack Stay first. Check. We might not. Tell you what, they've been definitely on us about it. I think we would bring a great social aspect to Packfest, uh, particularly with the squad of boys that we got. Half of them got added on the day of our boys' lunch uh, because, <laughs> fuck, we were spitting shit. Yeah, everyone's but keen to play after a few rums. Need Josh yeah. Regenza in. Yeah, he, he's, he's in. He's still, he's still serving a six-week suspension. But yeah, it's, so social, it's, it's a right. social comp, mate. It doesn't it's count. It's a social comp, so yeah, yeah. it doesn't count. It's I will play. Um, yeah, so... That might happen. That might not happen. I don't know. On uh, on the topic, another one that came in uh, on the topic of the boys' lunch and all the boys, um, mm. someone wanted to know, and I think this is a bit of a hard question because people probably don't know everyone in the group. We've had a few people on, but mm. maybe if we just try and give it to people who have been on the podcast, yeah, who yeah. would be the one that you'd like the least to date your sister? Rory Driscoll. Rory, really? Yeah, 100%. <sighs> 
Oh, actually, from yeah, people yeah. that have been on. I'm trying to rack my brain. The podcast. Been on the podcast. Oh yeah, okay. I didn't think about that. That's actually. Hang what, on, I hang didn't on. actually think about that because Rory would be the most fun at Christmas. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So actually, I retract on Rory that. Rory would be kissing my dad, so that's sick. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, that's something we could do together as a family. Just kiss dad. <laughs> Who else has been on the kiss podcast? Kiss dad, kiss a yeah. sister. All right, so if I go to Bloody Brain Beers, Jackson. Oh, Jackson, yeah. Um, because what does he offer? True. Sam Barker, Liam Kennedy. Kennedy's probably Seb number one. Rory. Um, I probably wouldn't want to date my sister. Out of the boys, yeah, true. Oh, she's your oh, I, I, yeah, exactly. So th- that's weird, dude. We'll rule that out. Real weird. Um, I date your sister. It's a shame Tim Good hasn't been on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, honestly. Um, Freeney. Freeney. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fuck. Julian Woods, actually, for sure. Oh, yeah, good point. The people on the podcast. Um, I'm leaning towards either Bennett's. <laughs> nah, Benny would be good value again. And he's not. He's like a good bloke as well, so he's not going to... Or Sterling. Yeah. <laughs> Sterling would be King pretty fun. North. Benny would treat nah, her right. I feel like Roz would treat her right, too. Nah, maybe Barker. I reckon Sam Barker. Yeah. Nah, Barker's he's too sweaty. Guy. Yeah. So are you. I'm still picking Jackson. I'm with Speaks, I think. Nah, I reckon Jackson. Sorry, Buck. You slimy. At least you know the cricket would always be on. <laughs> what? Yeah, Jackson Buckley's dad works for the UN. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. <laughs> What's he doing? Huh? What's he doing? He um finds <laughs> homes. What did that <laughs> come from? from this, uh, yeah, he finds Sam homes. Sam Speaks just said it earlier. He's like, yeah, uh, Jackson's dad works for the UN. I was like, uh, don't know about that, but. No, he does. <laughs> he finds homes for the asylum seekers. Oh. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that got sent in that we True. need to... So, yeah. yeah I don't know. There's one, but we Google might it. save it for next week. Dior. Uh, what the fuck is Dior? Yeah. Do your own research. Oh, uh, yep. I have seen that pop up. Oh, Zach Hutchins wants a shout-out. He actually sent through that last question, the um, sister question. So, shout-out oh, to cool. Zach. Big shout supporter. Zach. Huge, Zach's a massive supporter. Huge friend of the... Um, Podcast. Of everything, yeah. Everything, Bloody the group. Yeah. He loves everything. Um, one last thing, because I have to leave. Well, I want to try and leave in 10 minutes. Um, Klutzy, I didn't run this by you as well, but I thought another good segment. I nearly forgot about this, Speaks. Um, no, it's fine. Um, I want to start doing review of the week, podcast review of the week. Okay. Um, where we take all of our reviews on uh, the podcast app and... We read the best one out every week. Okay. So if you're listening right now, I want you to go and review it, except your review can be anything except a review. So the wow. weirder, the better. The weirder, the better. Um, Fuck, so I yeah. thought as a good example this this week... Laura I, Graham, I expect something from you. Yeah. Actually, we've also got 20 ratings on the podcast app. Which is what, a lot. Are we a five-star rating? We're 19 of them are five-star, one's four-star. So thank you to everyone who has yeah. voted already. Assuming thank you to the person accident. who did the four-star. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. it was an accident. Yeah. No, no, I have to say thank you for actually being honest. Um, <laughs> so I asked Speaks no this week, our guest, if yeah. he could uh, write one. So the idea is just to be as weird as possible and we'll read the best ones out every week. <laughs> Have so you heard so it? No, I'll, I'll read it out now. I'm this is this is just this. a good example. Uh, so the title is "A Little Insight into How the Other Half Live." It's Sunday. You completely bounced out from the week, and you think maybe I should eat something for the first time since Friday lunch. You grab your phone and open up Uber Eats. Right? Wrong. Take a bite out of your phone. Steve <laughs> Jobs, before he died, said he wanted reusable devices by 2022. And newsflash, it's 2021, and nobody knows you can legit eat your phone. <laughs> 1,250 calories with only 16 grams of fat. Your body will thank you. <laughs> That's the review of the week. I did that sober as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine. So, so please, please send in your reviews for next week. And that was from Sam Speakman, a.k.a. his alias on the podcast app, Pulling Biddies. Pulling Biddies. Which I don't know where that came from. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, about that is fake. get your reviews in. <laughs> yeah, correct. Get your reviews in and we'll read the the best one out next week. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Fucking hell, that's great. Are, that's we, doing, a great are we doing good, oh, like, hilarious Google reviews? Oh, yeah. Fuck, well, I forgot about that too. Quick Google do reviews. That. I can yeah. definitely find one as and well. And just, by the way, I just want to preface this as saying anyone who leaves a Google review is fucked in the head. Yeah, I agree. More Jordy fucked Madden. in the head than anyone 
who's doing the fucked thing that's get, yeah, like, yeah, deserving yeah. of the review. Yeah. But anyway, my favourite ones are the this ones... This is how we wanted to bring this segment back to the uh, the Google review segment. My favourite ones are the ones with either one, the person's name isn't in English, yeah. or two, that's like super, super fuck grammar. Yeah. And if they have both and you've hit the, you know... Jackpot. So what venue but, have you chosen this week? So I've chosen Coles the Gap. Yep, nice. And this is um, a beautiful lady. She has 10 reviews and 10 photos. Her name's in Chinese. Be careful, COVID-19. Be careful, COVID-19. Be careful, COVID-19. <laughs> Very terrible calls. As many comments above. No social distances. No separate glass. Check out customer service. Also strange. Such as baby formula. It's only four units. But they treat my friend and I one customer. How about if you got more than one baby? They treat one family per person per large customer <laughs> family. <laughs> And I said, well, you know, she's making a lot of really good clear points. <laughs> um, Boycott Coles the Gap. And then I was still on Coles the Gap here. It goes, I'm getting very old, needs a revamp. I think you meant <laughs> it's, but... <laughs> I am. <laughs> but thanks, Malcolm. Get um, yourself a revamp. And then I actually moved on to McDonald's the Gap. Yeah, nice. Like Same precinct. Went in the area. Gap Village, so yeah. another one star. I thought the Gap High School was supposed to be good, but judging by the graduates working in McDonald's, they forgot how to teach kids how to read. <laughs> <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I get the order wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and ordering that usually looks like it's been made throwing ingredients across two rooms. The main issue seems to be employing teenagers with drug addicts. No suitable management. Most times I'm waiting for my order. The staff seem occupied. <laughs> full stop. First full stop of the <laughs> review. <laughs> and what's going on on Instagram? I'm 100% sure McDonald's will make no improvements based on any reviews. Hashtag Hungry Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And then I got one. I went, Darcy's favourite pub, and which he reckons is the best pub. Yeah, in Eddie, 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 apart now, from the Caxton. Caxton's the best pub. Apart from the Caxton, yeah. yeah. He, now, so this review was so long, I couldn't get it in one screenshot. <laughs> so I'll just read until it works. Oh, this is the one you sent me today, and I was like, I'm not reading that. I want to re- yeah. react live. He goes, Emma attacks loyal customers who have been there longer than she has been. Not cool. I have been there 15 years longer than she has, but it seems I think that she is God Almighty. <laughs> I would like to buy a place. Please call me with figures. <laughs> Did you know, actually, that ch- I have a story about that chick that from... So- sorry, you keep going. As I am sad to see it go downhill, but what I remember of it. My kids have eaten there since they were born in high chairs. <laughs> and now born as, in high chairs. And now, as of two years later, my staff make fun of what you wear. Again, no full stop so far. <laughs> I will be taking it further as I am dis- disguised in how they handle disguised. themselves. Note only the girls at the bar... And the way the girls seem to gang up on more, what I can have said is that they spent $2,000 at this pub plus in my life. <laughs> and you getting paid out for wearing a BCF hat for <laughs> someone. I've, I've never seen work there before Jeff Horn fight. I'm not. And well, <laughs> this is is so there a name fun. on this one? Oh, I didn't screenshot the name. I had, uh. to, I had to pull down so I could get as much as I could. <laughs> Hang on. I've never seen work there before Jeff Horn fight. Which is obviously like a massive day in all of our yeah, lives. He said he hasn't <laughs> seen the chicks work there since. Or not, it's disgusting. And told to get out, out. Not cool, be aware the matter is going further as there is no reason to make fun of people for what they were. This is also from the other locals. The place is going downhill. So sad, so sad. Thanks heaps, Emma. P.S. Please change the carpet in the restaurant. I think Emma is the manager. She would have done this, but I think she's too busy making fun of people. <laughs> for what they were, or should say her staff, but it comes down to her as a manager. She is not managing correctly. She's a bad manager. Please go to Woolies. I need the figures. God forbid <laughs> you do a review on a place, they kick you out. That I <laughs> God forbid you do a review on a place, they kick you out for that, as I have found out today, walking there seven months and being told because... I've gone to social media. Get out, please. Remember this. I have been there long before anyone who remembers this. Please get out. So many better pubs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just where it cuts off. There was Wrong. still more. Just, are they, um, story. Story. Yeah. Uh, friend of ours. We would all know her. She went to the pub and she asked for a lychee, some sort of lychee cocktail. I can't remember what it was. Mm. From said bar person, Emma. Mm. And apparently she paid for it and then Emma bought it over and it was just like a vodka 
in a t- fancy glass. And she's like, what the fuck? She's like, oh, we're out of lychee, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so I've got one just because I got it then. And I, this one sticks in my mind. It's a bloke I used to work with um, when I did that marketing thing for not long because I suck. Um, so this is Harry at Hungry Jack's Fortitude Valley. Now, Harry lived at the end of a train line near Wynnum. So it was a long train ride home. Yeah. God's country. Yep. Harry, 17th of July, 2018. Thought I'd have a spare 15 minutes before my train to grab a quick bite. Fortitude Valley Hungry Jacks had another idea. Unfortunately, that idea was for me to wait the entirety of that time for my chips and pulled beef, only to make it by a bee's dick onto the train. Shit happens, I understand, so without complaint, I'm keen to dive into my feed, only to not have a fork and currently look like a barbarian, finger-fucking my food just to eat. (laughs) Giving two stars and not one out of goodwill because, funny enough, no one wants to sit next to me, which isn't all that bad. (laughs) That's a great review. I need to piss, boys. Yeah, well, it's... Are wrapping it up? I'm leaving at eight and it's 59, so I need to get out of here. sweet. Well, um, fuck... We've come into 2021 just like we left 2020. An absolute shit show. So, um, oh, it's I'm great. going to piss my pants. Yeah, just yeah, go, mate. So right, we can well, wrap this thanks up. Thanks for having me. Bloody brown beers. I'll thanks, piss. Speaks. I'm going to go do a urine in my pants. So I won't make it. Can you pass me that? Yeah. Fuck, this is so, so cool. much better. Oh, oh, fuck. Thank God for that. I have to fucking hold the cord in. Yeah, sick. Oh, yeah. Um, Guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Once again, big shout out to our actual sponsor, Malt yep. Shovel. Um. Thank you so much for jumping on board you've with got, us. You've got three jobs after this podcast. <laughs> uh, we're not giving it away for free anymore. So if you're listening, you've got three jobs. One, buy some piss from a malt shovel. Get yourself a yeah. discount. Get us some free piss as well. We'd love it. Yeah. Two, leave a review. We'll read it out next week if it's funny. Yep. And three, share this with someone. Yeah, share it. And subscribe to all our shit as well. You, you um, could have that. Oh, actually, yeah. good point. Subscribe. If you're yeah. watching on YouTube, subscribe. Hopefully yeah. heaps of video content coming this year. If the lockdowns stay away. Yeah. Lots planned. Um, yep. But you should be able to complete all four of those tasks in under four minutes. Yeah. And we put hard. our blood, sweat and tears into this podcast, so that's the least you can do. As you can tell, because I was four minutes and 34 seconds yep. late. But that's okay. It's all right. We're back. We'll be back bigger and better next week, hopefully. Uh, Who knows? That was a pretty good episode, I reckon. Yeah. It'd be hard to top. Yeah. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll, we'll be back, yeah. We'll be back. Okay. See you, Josh. Bye. Bye. Give him those.